Who got it from Dach? Oh, they told me it's going to be in, in Dutch. So, no, no, just kidding with you. So, I'm uh, Alex Mashinsky, founder, CEO of uh, Celsius. I want to ask you just a few simple questions. Who here ho has any crypto, any type of crypto? All right. Talking to the converted, preaching to the converted. That's easy, guys. All the guys that don't have crypto just left the room. So, I want to talk to you about decentralization. We are at war. I know people didn't tell you, but we are at war. The war is between centralization and decentralization. Now, I know Tim for a very long time. I pitched him four of my startups. I did seven startups as a founder before Celsius. Pitched him four of them. He said no every time. And I totally disagree with him about one thing. You want to know what that is? Yes or no? There's coffee outside if you, if you need another boost before we get going. Satoshi Nakamoto is not a male, it's a female. Okay? So, let's talk about digital assets. We all know cryptocurrencies, right? Most of us here have some. Some of us have utility tokens. How many of you have utility tokens? All right, so about one-tenth of all the people who have crypto, right? And now we have a new type of animal called security tokens, right? No one has them yet because they haven't been issued yet, but that's what's coming next, right? It's getting very complicated. So in this world where we live in the big pyramid and our job every day, we wake up every morning and we go and have to generate profit for someone, right? We work for a boss who works for a boss who works for a boss and the guy at the top of the pyramid makes all the money. And for the last 700 years, this is what the world looked like. Anyone here does not work for a pyramid? Anyone here doesn't want to die inside a pyramid, like in the Egyptian pyramid? Exactly. So the circle, the future is a circle. The future is a blockchain-based platform where it's not about how much profit you generate or how big is your profit. It's about how big is your community. How much profit does Bitcoin generate? Zero. How much profit does Ethereum generate? Zero. Yet the community, all of us, buying coins every day, valuing Bitcoin at $90 billion. You cannot do that in a triangle. That model does not exist. So the future is about reinventing every company that exists in the triangle and moving it, right, in a new way into a circle. So any business you're in, it doesn't matter what you do every day, any business you're in could be transplanted, reinvented from the pyramid profit generation to a community-based platform. So I'm sure you've seen these pyramids, you know, software is going to eat the world. Andreessen Horowitz, right? Anyone read that blog? A few guys. And then you heard, oh, open source. Open source is eating software. Did anyone hear about that? Not, not, no one heard about that. Well, guess what? Open source software is eating the world. How much of the internet is open source? Anyone? 95%. Apache and all the other platforms you use every day. Every time you use your phone, you're using open source. Every time you use your phone, you're using open, vo open source, voice over IP. So... Now we have a, a wave that's, like Tim said, I agree with him 100%, that is bigger than all of those things. And it's going to eat up everything. All the little fishies here, doesn't matter if you're a bank or your insurance company or your shipping company, it's going to eat you up. All right? And replace you with a, a global open standards blockchain. So how many people here want to do an ICO? No one. Oh, only guys in the front. All right. We just completed our ICO. Celsius just raised $50 million two months ago. Uh, we did that in less than 14 days. And the reason the community, this is all about building a community. In this company, like I said, seven companies before, I raised over $1 billion for those seven companies from VCs. All the money came from VCs. For Celsius, we did not include a single VC. I didn't even go to CTM. 
I went to the community. This is all about building a community. Raising a, from money from a VC does not build a community. You want to change the world? You want to create a circle? You're not going to do that by going and raising money from three VCs. We had 15,000 people participate, come and register and give us all the information and say, hey, we love what you're doing. People called me on the phone and said, Alex, are you actually going to do this? You spent 30 years building pyramids. Are you going to create a circle this time or are you just going to buy a Lambo? Not funny, huh? Everybody had lunch already? Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> so the point is, is that I want to inspire you to come up with the next big idea. Okay? And the big idea is in the middle of all of those three circles, intersection of those three circles. Okay? Decentralization, we started talking about that. The blockchain, which is secure and immutable, right? If you don't know what those words mean, go on the internet. I know we're using consensus and open ledger. Everybody's using those words. But if you don't know what those words mean, you will not be able to build a great platform and a great community. So you need to understand what that is and be the expert at it. And you know why it's easy to become an expert? Because everyone who is an expert has started maybe a year ago. All these guys will tell you, ah, I'm an expert. Guess what? They're ahead of you by just like a few steps. So if we're going to change the entire world, if the entire world is going to become uh, crypto slash blockchain based, this is the first inning. This is like the game has even started. Everybody's just warming up on the soccer field. We are in Europe, so I have to use European analogies, you know. So, to summarize all of this, I put it in a really simple formula, right? Anyone knows what E equals MC square is? No one knows what that is. Oh, sorry? Anyone? Come on. Anyone went to high school or college or university? The Dutch universities have great physicists. So, any, what E stands for? What? Energy? No, not the energy. What else? Ethereum. Okay, somebody here figured it out. Ethereum. Here we go. What M stands for? M? Money? No. Mass? No. Market value. Okay. I'll take that. What else? Members, all right, somebody knows what he's talking about. So if you want your Ethereum to be very valuable, what do you need? Members times what? Engagement doesn't start with C. You have two Cs. C, senor, you know? Coins, well, almost. Community, right? We're talking about everything starts with community, everything, right? And credit. Why credit? Credit makes the world go round. I know people told you it's money, but most of us don't have money. We all live on credit, at least in America. Half of all the credit in the world is issued in the United States, $1.3 trillion. And that's what drives the U.S. economy. That's why the U.S. GDP is greater than everybody else, because we issue more credit to more people all the time. So just remember E equals MC square. Now, what are those numbers? Anyone knows what the top number is? Sorry? Of what? Address of Ethereum. That's right. Very good. That's actually my bank account. So if, you, if you're generous, if you don't think I made enough money yet, please send me some money. What's the bottom address? What is this thing? What's the bottom number? Uh, what? Huh? The bottom number is close to a Google. Does anyone know what the Google is? One followed by 100 zeros. And that number is the number of permutations, the number of options you can get with a number on top. Because each digit or each letter has 36 variation. So I wanted to illustrate to you how hard and how safe is the blockchain. It is almost impossible to break the blockchain and figure out what's behind this wallet. What is the private key? This is my public key. 
I'm happy to put it up there. You can take 100 pictures. You can try to break in. You won't be able to. You need all of the world's fastest computers put together will not be able to break this. Don't have enough power. So we had three waves of innovation. We had the infrastructure guys, Ethereum, Bitcoin, all these guys. Then we had middleware. And now we have dApps, right? Anyone knows dApps on the internet? Anyone use the dApp on the internet? Facebook, Google, those are dApps. So I'm here to tell you that the biggest winners, if you want to invest, if you already have your coins and you want to invest in tokens or other platforms, the biggest winners are going to be the dApps, right? You're going to read a lot about people telling you it's all about infrastructure. That wave is over. And believe me, I live in the future. So I know what it looks like. So back to the fishies. So crypto is like a very hungry Pac-Man. He just wants to eat everything, right? And it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it eats all the money in the world. And when all the money in the world turns into crypto, what happens? Where are the banks getting all their powers? Who gives the bank all their power? In Holland, who gives the bank all their power? Anyone? All of you, you make deposits, you give it power. It doesn't come from the government. It doesn't come from the ECB. It comes from all of us putting deposits over there. If you stop putting deposits there, you deposit in crypto, you're taking the power from here and you're moving it into crypto. All banks do is they take your deposit, they give you 1% and they turn around and they take your money and give it to this person over here and charge them 25% on the credit card. Is that a fair deal? You're getting 1% and they're charging 25%. Your money, it's not their money. So we're replacing that with a system that basically enables you to pay only 9% and earn 5%, five times more than the bank, and help all the community. Anyone knows who the guy in the middle is? Huh? Splinter, no, no. It's Satoshi Nakamoto. I, I have to put a female in there. I don't know what. Can you take the tail off just to? So the blockchain used to be all about Bitcoin, but now there's a lot of other players. There's a lot of other upcoming technologies that are faster, cheaper, better. Okay, so let's talk about Bitcoin is now 10 years old. 10 years old, you know, I, I was around when the internet just got started. And in the beginning of the internet, when the internet was 10 years old, we already had several hundred million users. Today, all of crypto put together is 40 million users, maybe 42 million active users. Right? So that's what I'm telling you. It's very, very early. Seven and a half billion people, almost six billion on the internet already, yet only 40-something million are using crypto. That's why it's early. It's very, very early. But we went from Bitcoin to Ether, now we have to cross the chasm, early adopter chasm. Every startup, every new invention has to cross that chasm. Most companies just fall right in the middle. They fall right in here. They cannot make it through. So our mission, Celsius, our mission is to help crypto cross the chasm. Our mission is to bring 100 million people into crypto so we can move over to the mass adoption phase. And we are doing it with issuing credit, charging low interest loans and paying very high interest to our depositors, right? Which will take, if I pay you five times the, the interest the bank pays, then you will have a much better chance of converting from the old world to the new world. So it's all about the next 100 million people, right? And it's coming to conferences like this and educating people that don't have coins about the future that's gonna make it happen. Each one of you has to talk to 10 people and convince them to download a wallet and buy their first coin, or at least buy their first Satoshi. So, I'm standing here, I'm talking to you like I know everything, right? So let's back it up. Let's see why what I'm saying to you is true. I started, like I said, seven companies. Two of my companies are the two top exits in New York City in the last 20 years. The most successful companies in New York, VC back, last 20 years. The first company, Arbonet, I started 1995. I wrote the first patents for voice over IP. Anyone here is using voice over IP? A few people? Actually, everybody in the room can raise your hand. If you're using WhatsApp or Skype 
or any of those things using voice over IP. Your phone would not work without voice over IP. Now, how much did anyone here pay for voice over IP? Nothing, zero. Back in 94, 95, KPN used to charge $3 a minute to call anywhere on the planet. Do you remember that? Anyone here paid $3 a minute? No, oh, only the guys that are like me, like that are 50 or older, you know? So, how, how did it become free? Who made, who freed up voice and gave it this opportunity? Right? All of us. All of us by moving away, by stopping paying KPN and moving to WhatsApp and Skype and all the other applications made that happen. It's the same thing with crypto. We're just moving from voice over IP to money over IP, MOIP. So, besides Celsius, I'm also an investor. I've held coins since 2013. I've uh, invested in over uh, 30 different ICOs, and I'm an advisor to about a dozen of them, including some of the top ICOs that were in the last year. These are my five rules. Take a picture. That's how I select companies, right? And I say no every day. Believe me, I'll say no all the time. The dumbest ideas, the craziest idea, are ideas are now in crypto, right? Anyone who has a... A washing machine goes out and says, I'm going to do an ICO, and I'm going to get two washing machines and, an and a Lambo, you know? So the revolution is here, but it's not going to affect everybody. In my view, it's going to be mostly, it's going to ha mostly have to do with financial products, banking, insurance, and things like that. So P2P, everybody here knows what P2P is, but P2P is really power to the people. It's not peer-to-peer. Peer-to-peer is dead. In this war between centralization and decentralization, it's all about the people, it's all about the community. If you're doing stuff for the people, they will come. They will join, they will be part of your blockchain. If you don't do stuff for the people, they will leave your blockchain and move somewhere else. When you see a price of something going down, like Bitcoin, it means the money's leaving there and going into Ether or Litecoin or Bitcoin Cash or anything else. The money's just moving around. So every day, it's measuring the value of that community. We're running out of time, so I'm going to go to the summary slide. VoIP to MOIP, we talked about that. E equals MC square. Power to the people. Are we done? One more slide. So, what's so important about this slide? When we did our ICO, 15,000 people participated. 95% were men. Okay? We're not going to create a revolution. We're not going to win this war if half of the population in the world, more than half, is not joining it. Right? We don't have enough women in crypto. So I'm inviting all of you to bring, come in, bring your friends, and for every guy you bring in, bring in three women because we need them to help us out. Thank you very much. We have a booth outside. Love to come and see you. Talk to you later. <laughs>